go, all we see are ruins. How can this be our future? How could it come to this? Could it be true? If I eliminate that guy, will our world be saved? The day of disaster. Here are my records of this event. This was when Iblis was freed and his flames were released into the world. And you have this person to blame. Send us back in time to the point when the Iblis trigger was alive. What the? Who was that guy? He looked just like Shadow. Knuckles didn't get confused about who that guy was who looked just like Shadow because he recognizes that there was a difference there unlike the people in Adventure 2. You guys are so slow. Look. A Chaos Emerald! You've already found one! Well now, I may not look it, but I'm a real treasure hunter. Unlike a certain Echidna I know. What? <laughs> Have you guys discovered anything? Um, yeah. I received a signal indicating there's a Chaos Emerald here, but... You mean we've got to go through there? If you don't like it, you can stay here. You've got to be kidding. Don't be late. Same to you. Oh snap, Shadow had the better line though. <laughs> and honestly, Sonic with this better line should have been wait, last one to the Emeralds of our nade or something. <laughs> but who gets pause at the right time when doing that cutscene when Shadow's blinking, he'll be like, Really? That's the best you got? <laughs> that's, no, no, that's what I always thought. When, if you pause it in the right frame with his eyelids half closed. But now here we are in Flame Core, it, which. That was a pretty nice beat music to it. For an end. So, first part of the level, you can't. It kind of sucks because of one part thing. And I missed the silver medal. But it doesn't really matter. You also gotta be careful not to hit the meteors that come down from the volcanoes. Because doing that pipe right there. Oh, darn it! <laughs> Dead. And, uh, yeah, doing this like meteor part here, there are meteors that come down, like right there, and they can hit you. You, so that's kind of what sucks about this beginning part here. Here, but at least it's on like that part there, and it's, and it's out another part later on. And as you saw earlier, you know, I found a lot, fell into the lava, but, but at least we didn't like fully sink into it, and it's instant kill. So. It's just you step in it and and you take damage and on top of it and you just gotta get out before you get die. Oh uh, yeah, I took like a little shortcut back there because uh, 
that one swing there that lead me up here was encased in a box and if I didn't take that shortcut the enemies here down there I would have had to take out you know, before that. Uh, so, okay, doors open. <laughs> and uh, I thought there was more groups of enemies, but I guess not. And, it, and so, so just, more like any second, because that's what it's about to do, Sonic. <laughs> yeah, but, but anyway, <laughs> when we go through Flame Core, music's still pretty great. <laughs> this rock, guitar rock here. You know, here and at least this game, we're still getting, only died like two or three times so far throughout all Sonic story and you have a good, pretty good chunk of lives to will. Chances of a game over? Very unlikely, but I guess I should talk about this now. The game does not have an auto save. Save sadly. But, which kind of sucks, especially when you're like near the end of Sonic Story, where you're, like, you're on the second to last level and you forget to save and you get a game over and you have to redo three things over before that, which that happened to me before. Or so. But for the most part, this game, the game for the most part is designed to where you, know, you don't have to backtrack to replay. Uh, backtrack to re. You don't have. No, not backtrack. It's designed for the most part to whale. Well, where if you do get a game over, you don't have to redo any stuff before you redo the level. Well, so, I do appreciate that. <laughs> so, oh, but I'm getting ahead of myself now, and because like all previous game, games for this, had a, well, 3D games that is, has had an auto save. Even nowadays stuff does. Heck, even Sonic Forces has an auto save. Hey. Uh, is that really a good idea of going into the volcano where could possibly be more lava? <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, you only get the option to really save this after you clear a stage or if you're in the hub world and you press pause it tells you the option if it has a save option there. So that's how that work works. I even remember not long ago someone was doing like a live stream of like Sonic Story Vo 6 and I went to say don't forget to save before you enter that that stage but I completely I miss completely forgot and I mistake <laughs> I just make I should have done that <laughs> but it, it didn't really matter in the end because he still cleared it in the end just had to redo stuff before that and then Okay, yeah, you're sideways like that, and then it comes off. Your momentum kind of pushes you out there, so it's kind of weird. Not as weird as this rail grinding, and, uh, and but hey, what's this? Invincibility box. But anyway, that's the invincibility thing. It's also the speed up sh shoes thing, but you don't see that during the game. Only in the multiplayer. But it's a pretty nice remake of his world, and this point makes no sense here. Well, you hit those rocks and you're thinking you'll give up big uh, boom, blooms of light, but but no. They, they don't. They just give up small bits of light, and it makes no sense. We're in a volcano, and there's lava here. Lava's supposed to be hot and bright. And dangerous, so it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and but uh, oh, what the heck? You can see, you can still always clear the stage with, with this. And there's knuckle. And so what we have to do here is we have to let those uh, shine up, get all the balls of lights to shine. So and. So we just attack these guys with knuckles and you can even do like this little drill dive here that can stun enemies around. And then there was again there was something I want to try to pull off, which is beating the stage as knuckles. Well sand. Uh -huh. Get off the wall. Please, cause this is one of the biggest problems with knuckles. You, know, you can't jump off the wall easily. And, uh, there we go. <laughs> 
So when his gliding has been kind of nerfed to where he doesn't, he falls down a little more grad, more gradually than he normally would do. The so and and even as you go on, he starts going down more and more. And if you're lucky, okay, you can get up if it was a very high and glitch him outside the wall. And okay, um, okay, wait, I'm thinking I'm doing this right. There we go. Oh god. <laughs> oh man. What I was supposed to do was fly into back into the area where to the, the next area. Yeah, so you know, because that would lead to where Sonic would be. And if you don't and you can actually walk up to Sonic and uh, to switch back to him, but <laughs> yeah, I wanna try to see if I can finish the stage with Knuckles, because because this is the only stage where you can actually where you can see Knuckles' result screen. Oh, result, uh, victory pose, or results pose, whatever you like to call it. Because the other characters you see, that with, we'll see with their result poses, but Knuckles, you won't unless you do it what I'm trying to do here. But I'll give this like one more try. Hey, there we go. Ah, camera. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Like, yeah. Now we gotta make sure not to touch Sonic there, otherwise I'll switch back to him. Now there is this rare occasion where we go to the results screen and it won't show Knuckles' pose, but instead you'll still have to you'll be able to walk around doing the results. But well, it can happen, I've seen it happen before. <laughs> but if I can't... But anyway. I wasn't gonna also try to show this off in a bonus video, but I figured I might as well just try it. But then, all the walls here and such you can't. Uh, climb onto because because they're not as far as not the design oh, crud and, uh, and, uh, okay Let's try this again phew but uh okay just need one ring that's all we need and then we just run over to you and go down the hole. Yeah, the idea is that you're supposed to have Sonic here, not Knuckles, which is why I hate Sonic for saying that. And there's the goal ring, will it do the glitch again? Oh, yeah, it did. Head up. But, I don't know what's up with that. It's supposed to show Knuckles' pose. But see, like, even Knuckles has his own saying for what line he says for whatever rank you have, because, sure, uh, is that something? <laughs> I think I don't know how to get it to trigger, because to actually show his pose, but I'll have to link it in the description to what, how it's actually done, uh, of actually showing his pose, but, huh. but that one way how to get Knuckles' pose, victory, victory result, or result screen. Chaos Emerald. Don't touch it! What? What's this? <laughs> I love that line so much. Don't touch it! Speak this thing called Iblis. <laughs> yeah, I love I understand. I love that line so much. Don't touch it! Just because I feel like it could become a great big meme, but it doesn't. I, I don't think I've seen it as meme memes. I could be wrong about that, but I don't focus too I'm not too big on memes and such. Shoot. Such in, huh? And I do this thing a lot of I can easily see a lot of you uh, of places where you could, that could easily be done. <laughs> done as a good line, like uh, <laughs> I, uh, like, I don't know, there's like, whenever someone's about to, t well, like for example, at one point where Carl's t from Jimmy Neutron touches that, the door from that one candy episode, so then Carl touches the doorknob that, 
gets electric shocked in the crud. Put that in. That would be a perfect point to edit in. Don't touch it! <laughs> Shit. Yeah, so that's that's what, how I pitch it. Would be cool. Well, that did happen. Now we have to fight Iblis. It's here, so. We have to get to those rocks there with those purple balls of light in. Heck, I might even show a bonus, have a bonus video of me showing off how to clear that. Actually, no, wait. What am I saying? I don't need to. Because. We will be able to do that again later on. And anyway, we have to hit homie attack these balls of light here. And their bliss will aim towards it. Depends on which one he aims for. Uh, okay. Him in the weak spot, just do this three more times and that's it. Or three or four, it's one of the two. And this party is just filler at this point. We just. Uh, we're just. Getting launched so far back here, high in the air, or taking very slow. We didn't launch off a spring and land on this. So, uh, oh, couldn't have made it so you at least land on the um, last one here, on the one over here. But, oh well. Well, nothing we could do about that except you gotta avoid it plus when he charges. And there's another problem, which I should have mentioned before. Is that the camera doesn't all focus on the boss fight? We make it does aim at him at least for like a second. Again, too, but that doesn't help because the camera's supposed to focus entirely on the boss fight, like not just for like a few seconds. Even if it was like an, a boss fight against a, against a, uh, uh, some someone someone else you play as, like for example, all the Sonic and Shadow fight in Advent, Adventure Two when they're in Green Forest. I said, always focus on them. No, um, so. Oh, that's some. That's one thing you can. Wish you could do. Uh, the thing that I should have mentioned earlier. But there was actually one boss fight that. Actually, scratch that. Two boss fights that actually have the camera facing the boss fight. Or uh, always, uh, always focusing on it. Um, actually, maybe come to think of it, I think there was like. Like two or three, uh, no, like three or four. I could be wrong. Um, but anyway, oh gosh. Uh, yeah. Spike can be kind of, is kind of a little dragged out because it takes so long to just get hits on him. Um, so that's kind of the problem, problem with this boss fight. It kind of just drags on a little too long. You may like there was a, a couple other fights that kind of drag on too long, but some of those later ones kind of make sense because they're the last one of the story. So for those I can kind of I can understand, but for this I you don't really understand because come on we're like we're only like halfway through Sonic story here and or maybe not even halfway here and and yet with. Can't sparse fight goes on for a little too long. And yeah, I know Sonic like 4 Episode 2 did that as well. Yeah, I know Sonic like 4 Episode 2 did that as well, but those fights weren't nearly as dragged out out at dragged on as long as this. Well maybe the one of the Well maybe they were, but those fights were at least nice and simple and you can actually hit the boss fight quicker. So so that's what kind of felt better about them, <laughs> them compared to this. So uh, okay, good. This is, uh, now we can hit that, get that one in. You can't even damage boost and try to homing attack up to these instead of waiting for these rocks to come down to jump onto them. But I honestly just prefer doing it like this, just because it's safer. And no, I know checkpoints during this boss fight, so. So if you die on like, oh right, when he has one hit left, he does the he, he charges in like that, and uh, I honestly forgot that was where the last hit was, <laughs> but we got him done anyway. Hmm. Now go back to sleep, whatever him simplest creature.
to the box. There we go. But definitely you would. Let's see, man. Definitely one of the longest good fights in the game, which probably would have done a little better if I didn't lose so many things. But, but oh well. And I think if Sonic gets a D, if you get a D rank at Sonic, he'll say, man, today's not my day. <laughs> but I think that's why he says, I could be, yeah, actually, yeah, he's that is what he says, if you get a D rank. Looks like we made it back in one piece. Where did Shadow and Rouge go? Did they appear someplace else? Those two can take care of themselves. Now we're back in the present, with, but who knows where Shadow and Rouge went. We could tell you a way to find out next episode, or the way to find out till Shadow, we do Shadow story, story but uh, because we're going to be ending it off here in a second. But before we do that, uh, something I want to do first. So once this loading is done, and there we go. Well, wait, first off. Head over to, yep, the shop here, and bounce bracelet. Hmm, what, what could this be? Something's on, on Sonic's wrist, uh, on glo his glove now, and we jump and press X. Now we can do the bounce attack from Adventure 2. And bounce up kind of high, but it's a pretty floaty. Anyway, uh, not near, doesn't feel nearly as high as, uh, he's a, or well, maybe it is about as high as Adventure 2's, but maybe could be just me because I'm thinking of because I'm just thinking about the yeah, he's just I'm thinking about how it, high it is in the channel going because at that point it's like more zoomed in and you can see him bouncing way higher. Wow, <laughs> didn't even think that uh, I could destroy that. But yeah, now we have the bounce place with slid here, but. Sadly, however, it doesn't appear in cutscenes, even in previous ones. And so, that's something in, in the, well, disappointing. But nothing we can do about that. And, oh man, how do we get through here? That's where the next stage is, but how do we get through that? Hmm, I don't know. Oh, but we'll find out next episode. But luckily, I do actually know. But we're just gonna end it off here, here for now. So next time on Sonic 06, we shall find a way to get into the train station, Shin here, and go after Elise once again. So I'll see you all next time. <laughs>